Yeah, Victor, we just got the search warrant for the shooter's home within the last 30 minutes. Now, Houston police say the Lakewood Church shooter stays at did stay at this home, lived here off a of Gulf Stream Drive. A car actually just pulled up here live, as you can see. Uh, after this report, we'll see what we can find out. A woman walking in the house now. Now, it states the search warrant authorities had reason to believe guns, ammunition, and explosive materials were in the house after the shooter made threats of having a bomb at the church. We're going through that search warrant right now. Three independent sources confirmed to KHU 11, the 36 year old. Genesee Moreno, also known as Jeffrey Escaliente, in the past walked inside Lakewood Church on Sunday with a long rifle and started shooting. Federal agents were spotted in this Conroe neighborhood last night searching the house where the shooter stayed. Our cameras were rolling when Moreno's car was towed outside the home just within the last couple of hours. HPD says Moreno was shot and killed by two off-duty officers yesterday and a child as young as five with her was shot in the crossfire along with a man. Back at the scene of the home, one neighbor describes how long this street was blocked off by law enforcement agencies. I think it was for about two hours before I finally was able to come home, which was really scary because my wife was here with our kiddo, but no one was telling me what was going on. Why are there all these police officers here? Yeah, as for that child shot uh, within the last 30 minutes, we did check uh, that child is still in critical condition in the hospital, that young boy still fighting for his life. We also just learned uh, from authorities that that child sustained very severe injuries and it's unsure, really unclear right now if that child will survive. So obviously several people pulling for this child to make it through um, and we are still working to find out the shooter's connection to the child in the hospital currently. Reporting live in Conroe, Ugochi Iloka, KHOU 11 News.